Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see various forms of equation of a line. In my previous video, we have seen condition for collinearity of three points. So if you haven't watched that, there is a link in the description box below, you can check that out. So here, what is this equation of a line? We all know what is a line. Line is nothing but it consists of infinite points in it, right? So what is the equation of a line? If you remember in 10th standard, we used to draw a graph. There, they used to give the equation. So let's say y is equal to 4x plus 6. We used to put different values for x and find the value of y and then plot it on the graph sheet, right? So the graph of this equation will, you will get as a straight line. So here, we have to find this equation. They will give the condition of this line. So for the different condition of this line, we have different methods or different formulas to find the equation of a line. So that we are going to see here. Alright. So the different condition of the lines are, it may be horizontal and vertical line. So when you have a horizontal and vertical line, how to find the equation of a line? That we will see. And we have points, slope form, two point form, slope intercept form, intercept form and normal form. So in this video, we will see first three condition of the line. So now let's see first one that is when we have a horizontal or a vertical line then how to find the equation of a line. Alright. So now let's see the first one we have horizontal and vertical line. So here we will find equation of a line when the line is horizontal or vertical. So first let's say horizontal. Let's take a plane. We have this is your x axis and this is your y axis. Now let's take a line which is horizontal which means parallel to x axis right. If you see this line in every point on this line has got y value constant. This is the origin let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So every point has got y value 5 only right throughout this line which means y is equal to a constant. So this will be your equation when the line is horizontal. If the line is here in the negative axis, then your constant will be y is equal to minus c. Correct? So the sign depends on the position of this line. So this will be the equation for horizontal line. Now let's see what is the equation for vertical line. So we have a plane. So this is your x-axis. And this is your y axis. Here vertical line means which is parallel to y axis right. So every point on this line has got x value constant. So if it's, this is your origin 1, 2, 3 and 4 throughout this line x value will be 4 itself right. y will be different. So in this case we have x is equal to a constant. So this will be the equation for vertical line and y is equal to a constant will be an equation for horizontal line. So now if this line is on the negative axis, let's say if the line is here, then the equation will be x is equal to minus c because your x value is negative, right? So let's see one example for this, but before that pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this question here it says find the equations of a lines parallel to axis and passing through minus 2 comma 3. So they are saying this is your x axis and this is your y axis and the point passing through is minus 2 comma 3. So minus 2 let's say this is minus 1 minus 2. So minus 2 comma 3. So 1, 2, 3. That means this point right so this is your point minus 2 comma 3 so here they are saying we have to find the equations of that line which is parallel to axis and passing through this point parallel to axis means both y axis and x axis right so the lines that passes through this point that will be at this line which is parallel to x axis right and one more line which is parallel to y axis that line should pass through this point. So we can draw like this, right? 
so we have to find the equation of these two lines i hope the question is clear now we know for the horizontal line y is equal to a constant so what is the constant here y is equal to 3 this is the equation this is for horizontal line and what is the equation for the vertical line we know x is equal to constant what is x here minus 2 so this is the equation of the line now let's move on to the second one so now let's see the second form that is point slope form here name itself says point slope which means point and slope of a line is given in that case how to find the equation of that line that we will see so we have a line whose point is given as let's take as x1 y1 and slope of this line is given we have to find the equation of this line for that we will take any point on this line let's take x comma y so now we know by definition when two points are there then the slope is given by m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so here y minus y1 by x minus x1 right so this equation we can rewrite as x minus x1 into m is equal to y minus y1 or you can write as y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So this will be the equation for point slope form when point and slope of a line is given. Let's see one example for this but before that pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this question here it says Find the equation of the line through minus 2 comma 3 with slope minus 4. So what is given? Here point is given that is minus 2 comma 3 and slope is given as minus 4. So this is your x1 y1 given point right. So we know when point and a slope is given we know the equation y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So let's substitute here. So y minus x, y1 is 3 which is equal to m is minus 4 into x minus, x1 is minus 2. So minus of minus will be plus, so plus 2. So let's simplify this, y minus 3 is equal to minus into plus is minus 4x, minus into plus is minus 4 to are 8. So let's further simplify this. So this implies, we will bring this term to this side so that will be plus 4x plus y minus 3 when you bring this to the uh, other side it will be plus 8 so that will be plus 5 which is equal to 0 so this is your equation of the line so i hope this is clear now let's move on to the third form now let's see the third form that is two point form here two when two points are given let's say this is your x axis and this is your y axis now we have to find the equation of a line, that line passing through two points. Let's take any two points, let's say we have P1 which is X1, Y1 and we have P2 which is X2, Y2. So this, this line passes through these two points. Now we have to find the equation of this line. For that we will take any point P on this line. Let's take any point P on this line. Let's say we have x comma y. Now if you see here three points P1, P and P2 are on the same line which means they are collinear, right? We know the condition for collinear. So if they are collinear that means their slopes are equal, right? So we can say slope of P1, P is equal to slope of P1, P2. We know this. When the points are collinear, then the slope between them are equal. So we can take P1, P, slope of P1, P is equal to slope of P1, P2. So what is slope of P1, P? So we know slope is given when two points are there. We know Y minus Y1 between these two. So X minus X1. Similarly, what is the slope of P1, P2? P1 and P2. So that will be 
y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Correct? So now let's rearrange this. This implies y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into this x minus x1. So this will be the equation for two point form when two points are given and ask us to find the equation of that line which passes through those two points. So I hope this is clear. Now let's see one example for this. So now let's see this question here it says write the equation of a line through the points 1 comma minus 1 and 3 comma 5. So what is given here two points are given. So we have 1 comma minus 1 and 3 comma 5. So this is your x1 y1 and this is your x2 y2. So we know the formula when we have two points. So that is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Right? So let's simply substitute here. So we have y minus y1 is minus 1. So this will be plus 1 which is equal to y2. What is y2? 5. 5 minus y1 is minus 1. So that is plus 1 by x2. x2 is 3 minus x1. x1 is 1 into x minus x1 is 1. So let me simplify here. So we have y plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6 by 3 minus 1 is 2 into x minus 1. So y plus 1 is equal to 2 1s are 2 3s are 6. So 3x minus 1. Correct? So this will be y plus 1 is equal to 3x minus 3. We will further simplify this. We have, we will keep this here. So 3x, bring y to the other side, minus y. And this, when you bring to the other side, minus 3, minus 1 will give you minus 4, which is equal to 0. So this is the equation of a line that passes through these two points. So I hope this is clear. So this is it in this video. We will see three more forms in my next video. See you soon. Till then, take care. Almighty bless.